Hello everybody and welcome to episode 36. In today's episode we're going to be looking at creating this um, UI box we've got in the corner that shows us what item we have equipped at any point in time. We don't actually have a bow or bow mechanics yet, this comes from a bit further in, um, but it's going to be able to show us things like our bombs that we're going to be able to carry and throw. Uh, of course, it's also going to come a little bit later. Um, but I'm just showing you this now so you can see what we're actually aiming to accomplish. In today's episode, we're just going to look at creating this box, um, creating um, a system that will allow us to unlock different items and also show uh, the amount of ammunition we might have for a particular item, or not show ammunition at all in the case of another item that we'll add later on. Um, and how to sort of change the icon that's showing over this box and the number that's showing here and have it be effectively easy when I'm using these bombs at the moment. Um, that, that's counting down as well. Okay, um, all that stuff is going to come over the next few episodes. Um, in this episode, we're just going to look at actually creating this box, drawing a number, and, um, and, and drawing the right icon in the right place. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do coming from our previous episodes is I'm actually just going to get rid, in case you still have them, of uh, the bombs we have lying around this room. Um, we'll keep the slime in here for now. I'll move him over there because he keeps getting in the way. Wait, didn't I remove him before? Didn't I already? Maybe I did. He's found his way back somehow. But we'll just move him over there and keep him out of the way for now. Then we're going to bring in all the new sprites that we're going to need for this episode. So I'm going to open the sprites folder and uh, just right click on any sprite so I can get this create sprite from images button. Um, go to my assets folder uh, where we have all our things and I'm looking for s item UI uh, UI box even s item UI box is what that's going to be called um, it's pretty straightforward it's literally just a blue box so you might see how this is going to work we're going to have this as a blue box and then we're going to have another sprite that just contains all the icons so create sprite from images um, s uh, item UI strip four again that's if you're using my assets and how this one will work let's call it s item ui um, it's just going to show like the first frame is blank and each frame after that um, just shows um, each particular item icon we're going to have we're going to have bombs you can throw we're going to have a bow eventually and also eventually going to have a, a hook shot you can use um, and but sometimes you might not have unlocked any of those items so want to show nothing at all and that's what the, the the blank one is there for as well origins and frame rate and so on um, don't really matter as long as the origins are consistent we'll keep them in the top left um, it's just easy for uh, creating our ui if we just keep all that stuff in the top left just like we did with the um the coin um, other than that you can leave everything else just the default. The other thing I'm going to bring in is actually a new font. Um, you'll remember this font, um, I'm sure I talked about it at the time, it's made by Managor M5X7, um, really cool little pixel art font, but we want one that's even smaller to draw um, the tiny little uh, number we want to put to show the ammo of a particular item. So I'm going to right click this, hit create font, and call this one F Ammo, and I'm going to use Managor's other pixel art font, um, which if I just press M, uh, M3X6 is what it's called. Again, uh, made by Daniel Linson, Managor. Um, cool guy, cool font, uh, very useful for us. Turn anti-aliasing off and size 12 is just fine. As you can see, it's super tiny. It's literally three by six, okay? So it works pretty well for what we want. You can even go one further if you want and actually um, restrict this font to only be able to show numbers, which will just free up a little space on your text uh, texture page. Um, pretty inconsequential, it's a pretty small font, but you can do that. I'm going to leave it for now though. Then the last piece of setup I want to do is I'm going to come to our macro script where we kind of keep all of our constants and enums. I'm going to make a new enum uh, by typing enum item. Um, this is going to contain the different types of item that we have in the game, because um, there aren't going to be too many. We're going to have none, first of all, to have no item equipped. You could have the bombs equipped, you could have the bow equipped, or have a hook shot equipped. And then at the end, um, I'm actually going to include another one called type underscore count. And this is just a cheap way of including something in an enum that will return the number of entries that exist in that enum. <laughs> um, so if we ever add, like if we want to know how many types of items just exist, uh, we can just refer to this because it'll assign this to be zero, one, two, three, four, etc. right? Obviously, you know, it needs to be that plus one. But just having that on the end is a, a, ch a cheap little way of being able to always know what count we have. Say if we added other ones in here, like sword, axe, and so on, we'll be able to work out from this like how many there actually are. Okay, it can be helpful. 
Next up, I'm going to create a whole bunch of new globals. I'm going to come to O game, go to the create event. Uh, we'll maximize this, make it a bit bigger. I'm going to add a whole bunch of these. Um, they're all going to have player at the start, so we'll just put it under this section. Um, but we'll comment that this is a new section specifically for items. I mean, this is starting to get to be a bit of a mess. Should probably have commented these a bit better. Um, but we're going to do a whole bunch of globals to do with items. The first one is going to be called global dot player has any items. It's going to equal false because at the start of the game you don't have any items. You're going to have nothing. And if that's true, um, we can skip over the drawing like anything in the item box at all, right? Because you don't have any items. Um, it'll just simplify some checks. Um, the moment we'll get an item, like a bomb or whatever, we can turn that to true and it'll just stay true forever, including in the player's save game and so on, right? Uh, next up is global dot player equipped is going to equal item dot bomb um, just by default. Assuming you have any items at all, we know the first item we're going to let the player get is going to be the bomb. Um, you can start seeing why now if players are able to sequence break your game, it can cause all sorts of issues because of this sort of thing. <laughs> but we know that the first thing they're going to be able to get is the bomb just from my own plan. So I'm just going to set it to be item bomb. Next up is global dot player ammo which equals array underscore create item dot type underscore count dot minus one and then a global dot player item unlocked is going to equal similarly array underscore create item dot type underscore count minus one all right um, so that creates an array the length of which being the number of types we have um, and is filling each entry in that array with minus one. Okay, um, so we're, we're going to have an entry in player ammo for every type of item that's going to be minus one by default, and also um, a uh, a similar value for if we've unlocked the item. In fact, that could be false, not not minus one, because it's going to be boolean. It's going to be either we have unlocked it or we haven't. So I'm going to change that one to false. Um, I probably just did it minus one because that's how I did this one. <laughs> but the reason that this one is minus one specifically is because, you know, you might have zero bombs. I want to show you have zero bombs. Um, but something like the hookshot, which doesn't have ammo, you don't want to show zero ammo. Um, you, you just don't want to show an ammo number at all. And so that's why the default will be minus one. And if it's minus one, um, we, we don't show any ammo number. Okay. Um, then I'm going to set global dot player ammo item dot bomb to equal zero instead of minus one so that we know to actually that, that actually has ammo and can uh, show as a number and we'll copy paste that line and do the same thing for item bow to set that to be zero okay and that's the basic setup for um all right and now that we have all those values we can do all kinds of things just showing them in the right place showing what we have equipped and being able to toggle what we have equipped and so on um, but what I'm also going to do, um, even though this is the default setup, is I'm going to add a temporary section under here where we give ourselves some bombs just to be able to test everything. Okay, so global dot player item unlocked item dot bomb equals true. Uh, global dot player has any items equals true, and global dot player ammo item dot bomb equals five now obviously those are obsolete like totally redundant or rather they render these lines redundant right because you know we just set this to false and then we've just set it to true down here and that's just because this is just temporary okay eventually we plan to get rid of um oops oh hang on item dot bomb i think i press control z when i meant to press control x equals five there we go <laughs> um so eventually we're going to get rid of that and leave this behind. So that's that's the reason I'm doing this, okay? But for now, we're just overwriting what we eventually want to have with this so we can test out um, having the bomb from the start and uh, having five of it, because eventually we're gonna have a shop where you'll have to buy uh, a bomb to sort of unlock it as an item, okay? All right, so next up, we're gonna do OUI, um, just into the draw GUI event in here. Um, and after we've drawn the coin icon, um, we're going to have a new section down here that is uh, draw item box. Um, I'm going to change these coordinates as well for the coin icon. I'll just do this now to get it out of the way to 2831. And that's just to push the coin icon 20 pixels into the screen. Um, 
because obviously um, uh, where the coin is now, it's called in the, the top left, and we want to want to put the box on the inside. So I've just moved that by a bunch. Again, arbitrary magic numbers. We talked about this before. I'm just doing it for the sake of uh, um, doing the tutorial a bit faster. Okay, so draw item box. What we're going to do is I'm going to set those values again. So xx is going to now equal eight, and yy is going to equal twenty four. Again, try not to use super hard coded uh, magic numbers like this if you can avoid it. Um, uh, I've been over this before, right? <laughs> um, I was about to write the same thing again then. No. Um, draw sprite s item ui box um, frame zero at xx yy. That's the start of it, right? That's just going to draw that blue box at those coordinates. Then we're going to do if global.player has any items. So assuming that's not true, we just we don't draw anything else at all. Um, you might even want to include the, the box in here, but um, I'm going to show the box there as just an empty blue box while we don't have any icons. Uh, um, have any icons? Have any items? Let the player think about it, like, oh, what's that blue box going to mean later? Or whatever, I don't know. Um, but assuming they have any items, we want to actually draw whatever items they have. So draw sprite s item ui uh, and you'll remember each frame of that sprite indicated a different icon. Uh, so we just need to put global dot player equipped, which you'll remember um, frame one of which was the bomb, and um, that lines up with our enum, in which item type one is the bomb. Okay, zero being blank, one being bomb, and so on. Okay. Next up, we want to check if global dot uh, player ammo open square bracket global dot player equipped does not equal minus one again this is what I was saying earlier if the ammo is minus one then we know it's not an item that actually has ammo okay it has an entry for ammo but that entry is just to tell us that it doesn't have ammo okay so if that's uh, not the case and it does have ammo then we need to draw how much ammo it has so I'm going to do draw set font f Ammo. Here's another case where having that draw set text function will be helpful. Would be helpful. Uh, draw set H align F A right. Draw set V align F A bottom. Draw set color C white. Okay. Again, good practice just to set all four of those every time. Then draw underscore text. Open bracket. Um, in fact, actually, I'm going to do this over multiple lines just to make it a little bit easier to read because these are quite long lines. So again, draw text is like um, we need to provide an X and a Y and then the string, right? So the X is going to be uh, XX uh, plus sprite get width um, S item UI box plus one. And the y is going to be yy plus sprite get width, uh, get height, sorry, uh, s item ui box plus one again. And then the string is just going to be string global dot player ammo open square bracket global dot player equipped. And that's the end of that function. So that's just taking the x and y of the box itself and then adding the width and height to that x and y so it goes from drawing in the top left to the bottom left, uh, bottom right, sorry, and then just adding a plus one, I just, uh, that's just a magic adjustment, right, I just felt that made it look a little nicer with one more one more pixel so it sort of goes just off the, sort of the edge of the box a little bit. Uh, and obviously the string is just to get the amount of ammo for whatever item we actually currently have equipped, okay? Um, and that's really all there is to it there. So if I go ahead and run that now, we'll find that Sean is an idiot, and uh, some of you probably already noticed this, did not actually include the X and Y for his uh, draw sprite over here. Wrong number of arguments for function draw sprite. Um, so yeah, obviously remember to actually put the coordinates in <laughs> for uh, the item UI sprite. Um, kind of important. Uh, again, they are just exactly the same as where the UI box is. But now, hopefully, assuming I haven't screwed anything else up, we run that now, and we can see we've got bombs in the corner of that, and it's five, which is the number we set that to be. Okay, um, uh, and that works. Um, if we were to set our um, item to be anything else, like uh, if we come back to uh, O game, 
and go player uh, equipped um, item bow, for example. And I run that. You can see it's showing a bow icon there with zero on it because we have zero ammo for that, and so on, right? Um, that's it for this particular episode. Uh, as I said, we're just, we were just getting that to actually draw on the screen. So we have all the numbers in place for our item system. We understand how that works. Um, we have the little box that shows and we're able to draw uh, the relevant item and whether or not it has any ammo. Okay. All right. But that is it for this particular episode. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. Um, I hope you're still getting something out of it and uh, I'll catch you all next time. A shout out in particular and in no particular order to the following Max M, Raildor, Bowser the Dog, Seanathan, James Grimley, Robert Churches, Daka Dondigo, Bertie T, Relentless Rex, Jason, Darkrider0318, Rupinda, Rene Dam, Samia Nyaya Ligaglow, Yoram Pater, Cabbage Pants Figgy, Kaza Ho, Reva, Verpaleon, Andrew Gilbert, Jason Welch, Phil Keen, Vacants, Jordan Hake, John C, Feral Princess, Arctics, Rachel Stewart, It's Matt Poor, Stephen Shenier, John Keenai, Michael Kolich, Julian Cropley, James Ballard, Elizabeth and Landon Brown, Harvig, Tranquil, Jake. Jake Rumsey, Darth Wolf, Isaac Miller, Gary, Sean Paul, Eric Santana, Adrian.exe, Josh Furbin, Mankind One, JD O'Dea, Patrick Scheiss, Jiminy Whippets, Timothy Hare, Blunt, BSE, Troy Nall, and Adrian. Thank you all so much for your support and thank you for watching. I'll catch you all next time.